Love Them Knives channel, LTK, Amari, Amir, something. That's the brand, the Colosso. That's the knife. Have you seen these knives? Are they insane? These are behemoths. These are giganticus. I was attracted to them. I kind of like the overall design. Okay. I'm intrigued because it's an unfamiliar knife company to me, or it was a month or so ago. Uh, the harpoon style blade, D2 steel, G10, PVD coated or non, you can go, stone wash. I always thought that they got this wrong, right? That I should put this, I should uh, swap scales, put these scales on here, and then you'll have the, the just a regular silver with the tan. Then you could, I mean, really, you could pop these scales off. You could dye them blue, red, any color, purple, whatever, and then pop them on here, and then you'll have this with whatever color you want. That would be nice. I always like a neutral as an option for scales because you can dye them. Look at those standoffs. That thing's like a truck, isn't it? Oh my God. It is, and it's as heavy as a truck too, by the way. These are heavy duty. Let me see if I can show you the lock up on here. This is easier to see than that black on black uh, with the you know black lock bar and everything, black blade. But there it is. That's 50% right there. Look inside. Yeah, they're weight relieved inside, top and bottom, as you can see. And these standoffs are not black. They're silver, kind of like this. Just like the different scales so I can do what I want. So I guess you can buy two, make one a total black on black. Can you imagine? That's what I, that's what I think would have been neat though. Go black on black. Everything on here is black. All the hardware, the blade, everything. That would have been a total blackout. And then this could have been a neutral you could work with. Do whatever you want. But these are heavy. They're really not bad knives. Uh, I think they go for around 70 some dollars. And if I had my, my paperwork together, I'd show you. Uh, here they are. Well, I haven't seen these on White Mountain, but you might check. You might start carrying these. But the Colosso, it's a liner lock, G10, almost 4-inch blade, 76 bucks. Okay. So check that out. D2 drop point, flat grind, stone wash. Handle length, over five inches, nine and a quarter overall length, right? And where do they say the eight and a half ounces? <whistles> That's just some stuff, isn't it? Yuli Haneke is the designer on this. That's right. That's right. And he's the designer as well on the Pocket Peak, which is another of their models here. So he's, he's on both of these. We'll talk about that in a future video right now the colosso is on stage and it gets all get it gots all your attention here you go um yeah 0.64 wow let's see what we got for blade stock 0.1 so ooh, that's gotta be four yeah, that's four millimeter all day long 0.64 that's some um, that's that's just uh that's a handful isn't it and that that's a fairly tall scale there. Let's get it evened out here. Okay, come on. 1.35. I mean, there's knives when they're folded up and everything that are like 1.1, 1.2, 1.25 tall. This is much taller. This is going to take up a lot of real estate in your pocket. Going to take a lot of weight there too. Um, here's the, uh, the black. I've got them reversed here, but... Here's the black. So this is their 
model number here. Hold on. Give you that kind of information. They come in a box, just nothing all that, you know, exotic. And the paperwork is through around here. This kind of stuff. What have you. Original designs, outstanding quality. Top grade manufacturer with real steel knives. Yeah, I read that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> yes. Nice, interesting stuff. Real steel is behind all this. And I had forgotten it. I mean, I've had these knives for a couple of months, I think. So, <sighs> cinnamon for testing. Tested the D2, and they, so it was gone a while. And then I had seen something about them and real steel knives. Uh, where's my test results on this thing? I've got it back in here. Oh, here we go. So, of course, you send these brand new, no name kind of knives in, and they always blow the doors off of everything else. It's D2, and the HRC was 61.1, almost put 61.1. 61.6 here you go here's your elementals here okay so wow i was just surprised uh wow okay you got it buddy uh hold on and this was my i think this was my test dummy yeah there's the hrc divot right there Whew. take that and take that okay Oh man, that's just as good. Okay, yeah. I think the paper just jumped right off the, the edge knowing it was gonna get cut. Uh, so yeah, the, and the ergos are good too, okay? You got this little sharpening choil here. Thick blade stock. Look at the, check that out. I, it's, it might be harder seeing that. See that stop? That thing, how big is that thing? Hold on. Let's do that. How big is that stop? Wow. About a quarter inch. Six millimeter thick. Or I mean in diameter. Isn't that a hoss? That's a hoss. Hold on. It's easier to see this one. Man, that baby's planted right in those thick old steel liners though i'll tell you what this could probably really do some heavy duty walk and talk and it's and it's a big heavy lockup it maybe have been cool if real steel would have done one of their little lockout things so you know that slides forward or whatever and keeps that from ever being able to be disengaged then wow you got damn near a fixed blade tough little dog Look at those standoffs. That is just blows me away. Pocket clip. Tighten your belt. And it's non-intrusive. Look at the screws. Nice machined screws there. Nice clean look. No access to your torques from the front of this pivot. Just the back. Machine screws all the way through. So not terribly expensive. Not terribly cheap. But interesting, hold on, let's put this on the scale. And then we'll put it on the tape. We'll compare it with a couple of things. Um, <clears throat> grams, 200 and something, right? Wow, 239 grams. I knew it was going to be well over 200. 8.4, I've got 8.4 ounces. Um, so like the swordfish... My bluefish, best tech, is a pretty big knife. Wow. Yikes. Put it on the bottom. At least it'll look bigger for a moment. It's about the same size. Although the height of this monstrosity is crazy big. Uh, grab my... Yeah, well, we're four inches, even at the closest point. And three and three quarter cutting edge. Nine and a quarter overall. 
23 and a half centimeters. I mean, 23 and a half centimeters. That's some stuff. That's some stuff. You got height here. You got good, good ergos. If you got really big hands, wow, this is your knife. I mean, if you got really big hands and you don't mind a real heavy duty, hard working knife, I, I think this is it. Um, lanyard hole here, kind of a little bit of a striking area back in here. <laughs> I don't know. I always get the monsters, you know, because I always think they're so cool. Uh, now, this one I think is only eight and five eighths. My TS-124 from Tucson. Yeah, so this is so much bigger. I'd have to get my Goliath out to even get in that ballpark. Centered right up. You know there's bearings in there. Really nice action. Check that out. It just walks around with you. Just walks around all the way. Easy departure from the uh, detent. <laughs> I, I don't know. Just seems really nice. This one's a little stiffer. Got a little bit different sound, doesn't it? Okay, so let's let's throw a rag down and pull this dog apart. Just just for fun. This is a non-mandatory section of my uh, video. This should have a number eight on it right here. Oh wow, well that was easy. Okay. Just, just breaking them loose, just kinda initially. In fact, I really prefer this driver in any case. Always fun looking through the camera. Always a blast. Okay, so there goes the pivot. And let's do, let's break all these things loose first. Let's make sure we got everything. Oh man, they did make that a number six. Isn't that crazy? I think that thing is screwed into that too. I don't think I can pull that, that panel without taking the... Okay, nice machine screws, aren't they though? Give me my number six. Yeah, that'll work, okay. Yeah. Wanna get stubborn, huh? Wanna get, ooh, we do wanna get stubborn. Yes, we do. Time for you to get out. Get the hell out. Okay, now we got the scale off. This is the log bar side, obviously. No internal screws, so don't have to worry about that. Ah, oh, here goes the real steel roller bearings again, right? Seen these on some real steel knives. Interesting. No wonder the action's so nice. Pretty clean, too, huh? Yeah. Yellow Vaseline. We all live in some yellow Vaseline. Get the, what the hell. Seriously? Come on, man. Get off of there. Okay. So, yeah. Interesting, though. I'm just going to kind of half-ass it in any case, but... Uh, I'm going to pull these. Let's see if it really makes that much of a difference to, to clean that and do the other. It was pretty damn nice walking around the way it was. So, yeah. Um, yeah, wipe these down a little bit. Okay. So, roller bearings. It is, huh? That's the way we're going to be with that. Got a little KPL here. If anything, it, it smells good. That's for sure. Okay, so we're going to 
I'll go back with the presentation side and we've got a D shaped that's nice huh which means that the bottom of this is D shaped so we got to go that way like that okay and we want to put the bearings and then uh, if we want to be crazy and hit it with just a drop or two and then yeah it rolled off the damn towel wow boy you traveling man Whew. that was insane i thought i am losing it right okay and i yes i am you can answer that question and a little bit of goop around here throw this on we can bring this over lay it down that's pretty it goes together nice it's reasonably decent all the way through you might almost call it a knife there you go Throw me a pivot screw on here. And of course, I, <laughs> I exited my number eight, didn't I? In favor of the pocket clip number six. That's okay. Just about got her dead center. Put these uh, nice machine screws, though. Like it like that. And you know what? It's coming apart and going together like a precision-built machine. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, just plunk it in here. Come here. Yeah. Nice. Nice pocket clip on deck. Ooh, we deep enough? Lord Almighty, no wonder I was cranking at you. Whew. Now, I don't know why. Let me get Make sure I got. Wow, you are going all the way through. Feels like. Okay, just make sure we got everything yanked and cranked and then this middle setting here because I just want to feel it go both ways. I want to feel it. I can feel the back side of here. Um, yeah, it's centered. I just want it the way I want it though. Okay, all right, that works. Yeah, okay, nice. Yeah, centered up. Good to go. Good to go with the Coloss O. KPL, in case you're interested. Uh, they sent me this bottle for free. I mean, a long time ago, months ago. I'm not even half and they're like nine bucks a bottle so I mean crap I've had it at least six months or more at least so and I use it more often than not of my other lubes so there you go just for an FYI on that but both these Colossos yeah they're heavy yeah they're not an easy slim gentleman carry that's for sure and they're a little, maybe a little heavy for the EDC thing, but brutal, good HRC, solid, thick, heavy, hard workers. So, yeah, 75 bucks. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of knife, though. That's a, if you've got big hands, you definitely will enjoy this if you like a big, heavy knife as well. But that's, they're honkers. I'm going to let you go. Like the roller bearings. No wonder the action's so good, huh? 
look pretty clean in there too, didn't they? So, and those standoffs, the blade stop, everything's way oversized. I like it, huh? Cool. All right, I'll keep that in mind though. Amir or Amari. I keep wanting to call it maybe Amari. I don't know, but real steel involvement. Really cool knives. Yuli Henneke design. Ah, interesting. Take care. You know what we do around here? We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.